This is the episode I've been most excited to make, as Tyler is my favorite male contestant in all adult drama. His humor is unmatched by any other character, and his underdog status is something to be admired, as every small victory this character has is big in the long run. But as most good characters go, Tyler was obviously not given the light of day he so deserved, and now we are in a situation where Tyler most likely won't ever come back in any official Total Drama material ever again, with All Stars being the last true shot of Tyler's return. So Tyler will never know how Merge actually feels. Tyler's World Tour parents took a jock who got an early elimination and had his only personality traits being how he wanted to bone with Lindsay, and changed it to a lovable himbo who believes in his girlfriend and is loyal to a fault, as well as bonding with characters we would never have seen him bond with in Island, such as Harold. So with that, let's use World Tour Tyler here since he would absolutely clown on Island Tyler if they were competing. Episode 1 does not change and I think it has some of the best early Island characterization of Tyler, probably because the crew didn't know who they were gonna flesh out yet. In episode 2, I think Tyler would actually say something in rebuttal to Courtney putting him up for elimination about how at least he helped by jumping off the cliff. And everyone would agree, but of course Ezekiel has to say a sexist remark before this witch can get eliminated. So Ezekiel goes like in canon. In episode 3, I think Tyler and Harold would begin to talk in an unlikely friendship with Harold rambling about something nerdy about how like ninjas had to stay awake for 72 hours at a time, and Tyler would respond by talking about how he could be the ninja, to which Harold would say that they always come in groups, which is subtle foreshadowing to Harold's fear of ninjas. I think this would also be a great time to have Tyler and Eva show off their athletic abilities with both of them racing each other, but Tyler trips early on into the race and Lindsay helps him up and the two walk to the cafeteria. This gives a little bit of Lindsay and Tyler development so that the relationship just isn't about how they have the hots for each other physically. Tyler would still fall asleep and Heather would recruit Lindsay and Beth, but instead of just agreeing to Heather, she says that if the two teams come together, Tyler can be on the alliance, has the muscle, and Heather would say something to rebuttal it about how if they needed muscle, they'd be better off with Noah. Lindsay isn't happy about what Heather said and that makes that clear and confessional about how she has no right to say such things about Tyler and he's probably the smartest and most attractive guy she's met, which isn't saying a lot, but it's a thought that counts. Eva still loses her MP3 player, but this time Tyler picks it up, because at this time, Tyler was still awake, presumably, and goes to return it to Eva, who says that Tyler can make a good go for at least when she wins the competition, to which Tyler regrets giving her the MP3 player back, but hopes there's something good coming from this. Duncan still falls asleep at the end of the Screaming Gophers win. Tyler still has a grudge on Courtney, since she is kinda useless here, and without the Eva subplot, I can easily see Courtney getting the boot here, as she hasn't really gotten herself to be useful yet to the killer match. Tyler goes to Eva and talks about how he personally doesn't like Courtney and asks if she will vote for her, and Eva says she will since Tyler got the MP3 player, and he asks if they know of anyone else they can get here to vote Courtney, and Eva has an idea, and she tells Tyler to go to get someone as well, so he goes to Harold, who says he wants to vote Duncan more, and Tyler promises next time they can, so they make that plan, and Harold agrees. At the elimination ceremony, Tyler asks Eva who she was able to get, and she says she was able to get Sadie and Katie after threatening to shave their hair off while they slept if they didn't help her. Duncan, Jeff, DJ, and maybe Bridget decide to vote Harold as they find him to be the most annoying. Courtney would vote for Katie as she had problems with Katie and Sadie in the first episode. And finally, Eva, Tyler, Katie, Sadie, and Harold vote for Courtney, sending her out in honestly her most fair elimination. Episode 4, and nothing exactly changes, but when Tyler gets the balls, Eva would take them and he'd say how he throws like a girl before throwing his ball and slamming Lindsay in the face, to which Tyler would run to her and get hit out like in canon. Both of them leave like in canon, and Eva honestly wins the whole competition for the killer bass. Tyler is ecstatic that they won, and when he's about to join the group in celebration, Eva slams him against the cabin and tells him that if they would have lost, he would have gone home, and he better think about what's more important, his relationship or $100,000. Tyler realizes that his current fascination he has with Lindsay is costing him the game. Noah is still eliminated like in canon. Tyler goes to Lindsay early in the morning of episode 5 and he tells her that he can't keep seeing her, but before he can add the end challenges part of the sentence, Lindsay starts crying and runs off to which Tyler yells after her, but Duncan shows up and says that he didn't think he had the balls to break her heart. Tyler says that he didn't mean to hurt her and Duncan says that's what they all say. The challenge goes mostly the same for the most part, but Eva is showing off her lifting talent, and as Tyler shows up, she comments on the fact that he's doing yo-yo tricks for his talent. Tyler still walks off, tied up in the string as in canon, but this time won't be able to hook up with Lindsay, as instead Beth goes to him and says how what he did was inhuman and really hurt her. 
and Tyler tries to say that he didn't mean to, but Beth says the same thing Duncan did, which pisses Tyler off. Heather tells Lindsay that that's what love does, it crushes you on the inside. Everything past this goes as in canon, with Justin and Eva getting identical scores, and Harold showing up to be Box's way to victory. There's no reason to believe the vote would be any different, so we'll stay the same here as well. In episode 6, Tyler would go to Jeff and ask how he could make it up to Lindsay, to which Je Jeff just says that she will come back to him eventually, since she's obviously all about him, and Tyler takes that to heart, but it's clear Heather has filled her head to make her more angry at Tyler, and she insults his tracksuit, which makes Tyler embarrassed and he leaves before he can get roasted more. When they're camping, there isn't much to note here, and everything would go as in canon. Tyler would want to vote Katie, but he remembers the promise he made to Harold, and Eva asks who he's voting for, to which he says Duncan, which surprises Eva, but Tyler just says that he can't stand living with the guy anymore, and Eva serves as the brawn as the the team much better. Eva doesn't fully agree but says that they can string Katie and Sadie along a bit longer and she goes to them to tell them about their only lifeline here. Bridget, DJ, Duncan, and Jeff vote for Katie, while Harold, Tyler, Eva, Katie, and Sadie vote for Duncan, shocking the other four immensely but Tyler and Eva pretend to be shocked as well so people don't catch on. Episode 7 would have some real changes as Tyler would be depressed about ruining things with Lindsay and Eva would say how it's not as much fun to make fun of him when he's just agreeing with it all. And Tyler just says how he ruined everything with Lindsay, and Eva comments about how 80% of relationships fail in the first week anyway, and that's why she's married to the gym, and he should try it once in a while. Everyone talks about their fears like in canon, and Eva says her fear is dressing like a popular girl, and Tyler says his is chickens, to which Eva says how he manages to disappoint her every day more and more. Everything would go mostly as in canon until Chris would say that if Tyler can complete his challenge, then he would win invincibility for the killer bass, and Eva decides to help Tyler get some nerve and see if he's the man he says he is, and he tells Lindsay that Tyler is going to conquer his fear for her, which Lindsay is shocked by, and so is Tyler, who is able to conquer his fear with Lindsay, hoping he succeeds. With that, Screaming Gophers are up for elimination, and Heather tells Lindsay that she should vote her off for that, but will give her another chance if she votes for Lashana, to which Lindsay and Beth agree, and Heather is able to get a vote from Izzy and Owen, with the rest voting for Heather. Lashana is eliminated 5 votes to 4. Episode 8, and I can't see too many changes happening in this episode just because Eva was there, I think Eva would begin to talk strategy with Tyler and say how they should get rid of Bridget since she seems to be a huge detriment to the team, and he agrees, so with their current alliance they get rid of Bridget, but before she can leave, Izzy is chased off like in canon, spurring Bridget another day. Episode 9 would go massively as it does in canon, but probably better from the killer bass side as there is no Courtney and Duncan subplot and also the fact that Eva is here willing to shoot some deer. Katie and Sadie would ruin the challenge for the killer bass, kinda like Duncan and Courtney, but were saved by the Screaming Gophers being much more awful overall due to the mutiny. They most likely would still vote Cody out as I can't see a reason why things would change for them. Episode 10 would go massively the same, but Tyler would be paired with Eva in the cooking challenge. There's no Harold bullying subplot in this episode, but I'm sure the other guys wouldn't begin hating Harold for the things he does. Beth still gets eliminated. Episode 11, the first tag team challenge would be Tyler and DJ, and Tyler would be the one climbing, and Tyler would get hit with hot sauce unlike Duncan, but he would still manage to hang on since canonically, Tyler has some crazy strong fingers strong enough to break a piano by lightly pressing on it. Heather would pull Gwen's skirt off, and DJ would become distracted before suspending Tyler midair, and Gwen would win the first challenge. The second challenge will go as in canon, with Bridget being the chef for the bass, and Lindsay being the chef for the gophers. Jeff will still have a nice meal while Trent gets food poisoning. The third challenge will have Katie and Sadie competing for the bass, while Owen and Gwen compete for the gophers. I think Katie can be on Sadie's wavelength more than Courtney was, but she still loses the challenge. The next challenge will have Harold and Eva, and Lindsay and Heather, to which Eva and Harold would win, and Eva would say that maybe Harold isn't totally worthless after all. The final challenge would be DJ and Jeff again for the bass, with Lindsay and Owen competing for the gophers, to which Bunny would still get eaten, but nobody went and got a new one, so DJ just loses here and gets eliminated if he doesn't just quit since that seems to be a pattern for him. Episode 12 and Eva most likely defeats Gwen in this challenge and Heather would get Owen and Lindsay to vote Gwen off. Episode 13, and since this would inevitably come down to the same circumstances, there's very little to talk about besides the fact that Harold wouldn't write a poem for Lashana since she's gone. Harold would probably still wipe out at the end considering Heather is here to distract Harold, but I think Eva would get her wish to vote Bridget off and she is sent home since Bridget isn't in their alliance. For marriage, Izzy and Lashana would be brought back and Heather would go to Tyler and talk to him about how both Lindsay and her are in alliance with Owen and how 
he should join up with them or else she will get Lindsay voted off, and he agrees. Lashana still wins, and Lashana would go to Tyler and tell him that he can't trust Heather and that she will betray him when he isn't needed in the competition. But Tyler says that she's holding Lindsay as ransom, which Lashana says that with his numbers he should be able to take her out as long as they can also be in an alliance. Currently they have six votes, and Tyler goes to Lindsay and tells her to vote for Heather, and Lindsay, after some convincing, would trust Tyler here. So Heather goes home here. Episode 16 and this episode has the most new contestants out of any episode so far. So like in the others, each new contestant gets a number and if they are chosen, they get the immunity key that Heather had. 1 is for Eva, 2 is for Harold, 3 is for Katie, 4 is for Sadie, and 5 is for Tyler. And the number chosen is 1, which is to Tyler's detriment as he's reaching his boiling point with Eva. Tyler helps Lindsay obtain her key. And at the elimination ceremony, they plan to vote out Owen, but that's when Chris would give the last marshmallow to Owen and Lindsay would be eliminated. Tyler being shocked, and as he's going back to camp, Eva would slam Tyler against the cabin and say that next time, he would be the one going home if he planned to get her eliminated again. Episode 17, and Lashana would still win immunity as well as Eva by capturing Tyler. Tyler would manage to capture Katie and Sadie after Eva tells him about them as a way to be nice to him, and he gets invincibility as well. Now the targets would be Jeff, Trent, Owen, or Izzy, and I think they would get rid of Jeff, as Eva says that if it's a popularity contest, Jeff and Owen would win. Episode 18, and Trent, Jeff, Owen, Izzy, and Lashana are all non-factors in the question of who's getting eliminated. Tyler will never be able to make it through this course without hitting something and wiping out. Harold and Eva make it, and by making a bike for both of them, Katie and Sadie are able to make it last, and since technically Katie was sitting in the back, because she is the one who came in last, meaning she is eliminated. Episode 19, and a lot would go in canon, with Owen and Izzy being captured in the same way as in canon, as well as Lashana. But then we have characters we never saw here, so let's go over them. Harold would go with Tyler, and they both would attempt to fight Chef before being apprehended quickly. Sadie would cling to Tramp before running away from him as she hears rustling, and it turns out to be a rabbit, but she manages to bump into Chef, who captures her, and then Trent. Eva would defeat the real killer because, let's be honest, if she can defeat Sasquatch with little difficulty, she can beat this killer, and earns immunity, with Sadie being eliminated for the limit, for the lamest death. Episode 20 and Tyler's having a good time with Harold and Lashana when Tyler's pulled back by Eva and Eva tells him that they aren't in majority anymore, but Tyler says that they have Lashana, to which Eva says how she doesn't trust her as far as she can throw her, which is quite far admittedly. Izzy would end up doing her thing like in canon, this time hitting Eva, but before that she is able to rope Trent into an alliance so he isn't voted out. The votes would be Eva, Tyler, Trent, Lashana, and Harold voting for Izzy, with Izzy and Owen voting Eva. Episode 21 and the teams would be Lashana and Tyler, Harold and Eva, and finally Owen and Trent. Now I think Owen and Trent are the most well-rounded, with Lashana and Tyler being the underdogs, and Harold and Eva being the outright most competitive thanks to Eva. I think at some point during this challenge, Harold would say he's gonna win for Lashana, to which Eva would make fun of him for it, and he would get the wimp key from Chris and get them both disqualified from the challenge. Lashona and Tyler would make it to the end, and we have seen how bad he is in this sort of tile matching thing, so Lashona would have to take charge here while Owen holds both Izzy and Justin's totem heads in his arms and he refuses to let them go for Trent. Lashana and Tyler win and Eva talks to Trent about how he wants Harold to go, but Trent talks about how he wants Owen to go since he was so close to getting immunity and he ruined it. In the end, they agree to vote Harold and Tyler goes to Lashana and tells her how he has to vote for whoever she says since she said that she will vote him out otherwise, to which Lashana says that they can always just vote Eva out, which Tyler decides to do with Harold, Lashana, and Owen, eliminating Eva. Episode 22, and instead of being lame and just having Lashana leave, let's just think real Realistically, who would leave here if every contestant voted? Ezekiel would vote Trent, Courtney would vote Harold, Noah votes Owen, Justin votes for Trent, Duncan votes Harold, Cody votes Owen, Beth votes for Tyler, DJ votes for Harold, Gwen votes for Owen, Bridget votes for Owen, Heather votes Tyler, Lindsay would vote Tyler due to not understanding the rules, Jeff would vote for Harold, Katie and Sadie would vote for Lashana, Izzy would vote Owen, and finally Eva would vote for Lashana since she is the reason her plan failed in the end. So the votes would be 2 votes Trent, 
3 votes Tyler, 3 votes Lashana, 4 votes Harold, and finally 5 votes Owen. Episode 24 and the teams would be Tyler and Harold and Lashana and Trent. I think Tyler and Harold would win as Tyler is much more passive and if some one on his team knows something he won't try to butt in to act as he know as if he knows more. So he'd just follow Harold which would lead them back to camp but during the challenge while both Trent and Lashana and Harold and Tyler are sleeping together, Lashana would steal Harold and Tyler's stuff and takes Trent with him to try to make it to the finish line but Harold would say something about how the current trajectory and location of the sun mixed with the current rock formation means it's a faster way to go than if they went the standard route and Tyler and Harold would make it first and Chef would be unhappy since his time off would be ended, but he would still get to eat a sticky bun so he won't interfere in the elimination this time. Tyler tells Harold that they will never be able to defeat Lashana, and if he has any doubts that she will share the money, then he should vote her off, which Harold inevitably does, sending Lashana home in a similar elimination to action where Lashana forgives Harold for it. Episode 25, and I honestly think Trent would fail his challenge before either Tyler or Harold do. Tyler is a klutz, but a majority of the challenges wouldn't be affected by that, and I just think Trent would call it quits before either Harold or Tyler, since Trent even admits he can't handle pain that well. So the finale is Harold and Tyler, where at the end both Harold and Tyler are running to the finish line, and Tyler would trip over his untied shoelaces Heather untied earlier in the episode, slamming him face first next to the finish line, and Harold passes him and wins, but in the canon ending, Tyler would trip and his chin would pass the finish line, allowing him to win. If you think this contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments below, make the day yours, and I will see you all soon with the next contestant, Izzy.